How's it going guys, RXXC here, and we have a Wave 4 opening. We're kind of going back in time because, again, I did go to Momocon and open up a bunch of Wave 5 stuff for you guys on the channel. You can go check that out uh, in the uh, previous videos. Uh, there was a special one with Hyper Dragonoid, which is kind of a comparison between him and Ultra Dragonoid. Uh, you can go check that out too, it's pretty cool. So, um, Wave 4 is cool because we get a lot of Bakugan that we haven't seen before, or molds of Bakugan we haven't seen before. Uh, in particular, WebM, which is what we're all most uh, excited for. Um, I'm actually excited for this, but I'm more excited for the Aquas version whenever that's coming out. I think it's coming out in a three-pack, because uh, I saw it in the case at Momocon, and I got really excited. But uh, I'm happy to have this. So we're going to bust these open and show you guys everything at one time. I'm not going to split it into multiple videos, because I don't have time to do that right now. So here we go. All right, we're back, and we got all these guys out of the package. Uh, I went ahead and folded Pegatrix Ultra all the way out. Uh, with all his little extra extremity things going on. Uh, but we're going to go left to right uh, just to make it easier on myself. So uh, first we're going to start out with a Darkest Garganoid uh, Ultra. This uh, has a diamond version, uh, but we <laughs> I doubt I'm even going to find it or anyone's even going to try to find it for me because uh, I've just had horrible luck with diamonds recently. I haven't had a diamond since Trux Ultra, I don't think. So... Um, but we've all seen Garganoid, but this is his like home or house faction, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so he has all the cool darkest colors, and I really like that the only... Uh, oh, well, not true. But uh, they use the darkest green on his wings here. It's pretty cool. Um, let's go ahead and fold him up real quick. Do that. 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 I haven't rolled up a Garganoid in a while, so there you go. Uh, he's got cool little green accents on him. Actually, his wing kind of covers up the other green accents there. But a uh, cool purple band going down the middle kind of separates him real nice. And, of course, Garganoid. The, oh, uh-oh. Oh, oh well. <laughs> we won't talk about that. <laughs> anyway, uh, he comes with two cores. He's got a 250 uh, Red Shield and a Darkest Aquas uh, Green Fist Helper there. Um, Stats-wise... Uh, I'm going to put us up here, and then Matuska's here again helping us with some Evo action. So first off, he's got the shield and the green fist, and he's got 300B and 5 uh, attack. Uh, this one's got a pretty interesting Evo, though. What does it do? Maximus Garganoid Ultra Darkest, 8 cost. You may reroll this once each turn if you miss a roll with it. You can play this from your discard pile as though it were in your hand. Yep. 1,010. Yeah, so he's a zombie. He can come back from the discard or graveyard, whatever you want to call it. Uh, he's really interesting. Uh, we haven't gotten a chance to try him out yet. We don't really know how well that's going to work playing from the discard and stuff. And he's only a thousand B, so uh, you know Ooh. maybe yeah, a little low. Uh, two cost, darkest petrify, uh, minus five attack. Um, kind of goes with darkest and playing around with people's stats and stuff. So uh, that's darkest garganoid. He's he looks really cool. I'm a fan. Looks good. All right, moving on to a really fun one, uh, WebM Ultra, the uh, Spider Boy himself. Uh, I have been waiting to get this. Uh, there's a Darkest version that's coming out in Wave 5 that they didn't have at Momocon, but I did get to mess around with Orlis Ancient's um, Ventus one when we played each other. It's really cool. The legs are really springy. Uh, if we can uh, throw it back to the beginning of the channel, this is a uh, eight times uh, feet tickle. So uh, that's a lot of feet tickle. That's a lot of tickle in there. Um, I've heard that he's really kind of hard to close. Uh, I might have to <laughs> do that here in a sec. I'll try it. Here we go. Uh, all I the feet. I think it's one side and then. No, you got to do the back legs first. I honestly have no idea to be honest with you. See, to me, if you just kind of bunch them all together like that, and it closes then really this little weird. thing. No, well, that's a general idea. We're going to let Matuska figure that out while we talk about the other stuff. Um, he does have a magical shield and a green fist, so the magic shield's nice. Um, but he comes with a, a, a trap magic shield, which I'm not a fan of. But he gets an Aquas Ventus uh, fist helper. And uh, he comes with Web Snare, which is a flip. A zero-cost flip that says stop a Bakugan holding a red fist. Uh, so that's one of those interesting new Resurgence cards that stop Bakugan that are holding a uh, type of core. Uh, so that's a new thing. Did you figure it out? <laughs> I'm almost there. Almost? Maybe. All right. Um, I got there. You got it? Yeah. Okay, cool. 
Uh, I'm not gonna try to close this, but if you haven't seen it yet, this is how he looks in ball form. It looks like he's not closed all the way, but in fact he is. It's kind of interesting though. Uh, his little eyes uh, show up there. This actually comes up. It's like a manual part. Um, it's his eye. It's like his mouth. He has little like fangs, uh, but you want that down while you're rolling him, obviously. And uh, he rolls pretty straight, uh, even if he looks kind of. He, he looks like he's not spherical, but he is, if you, like, cut it out. <laughs> um, but, let's see. And he does Come a on. crazy flip, and sometimes he does this thing, and it looks like he's, like, coming to get you. <laughs> but, uh, let's go ahead and talk about his Evos. He has two, right? We got two. You right. have Diamond Web Am Ultra, which right. is eight cost, 1,500 B-Power, and 15 damage. Mm -hmm. Then you have... Maximus Web M Ultra, mm -hmm. seven cost. You may reroll this anytime you miss a roll with it. Yeah. Ooh, spreadsheet cooperate. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh, um, I think then, that's pretty much it, huh? Um, twelve hundred B power, fourteen damage. For how For much the, cost? Seven. Yeah. So both of his evos are really expensive, but he's Ventus, so you do have energy ramping stuff. Available to you to help that out, um, but his core, I don't even think I said his stats, 404, uh, and you can reroll this once each turn if you miss with it, so for people like me, you know that's a nice thing to be able to get a second shot. Um, but yeah, that's WebAm. He's pretty he's pretty cool. Orlis Ancient used it in his Mono Ventus deck. Uh, it's nice just because you do get the Magical Shield, uh, so it helps you with B-Power and stuff like that. Can you do this? Does it stay? Oh. <laughs> You can click him close. <laughs> you can click him close, and he stays like that. And he can another Beyblade box gone. <laughs> oh, it doesn't do anything though. No. Oh well. All right. Uh, anyway, let's move on to Pegatrix Ultra. So um, we all know Pegatrix Core and Chaos uh, is a really good box gone. A lot of people are using it. You play your Green Fist deck, um, but this one plays a little differently, but also does help. What is it stuck? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh, keep going. Just, oh, we'll get it later. <laughs> there you go, he's fixed. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, we had a, a quick scare there. His head's kind of like a loose feeling. It's kind of weird. Uh, but he has a bunch of manual parts. So he has these hooves that you have to like fold in and then fold down. And then his horn is actually a manual part, sadly. Uh, we kind of got spoiled with Core Dragonoid on that end. And then also his wings have this like feathering at the bottom this is actually also a manual part that you have to fold back in order to put back together um, so we're gonna do that here and then I think uh, actually I don't think I don't know how to do this one at all oh wait yeah I do you do that you do that uh, do you have to do head first is that how it works oh there you go yeah there 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 and there you have it Pegatrix Ultra. So, it uh, looks really cool in ball form. You can still see its horn. I guess if you wanted to, you could uh, do that. <laughs> it's kind of like a little middle finger to you, but whatever. I like the blue um, accents. Yeah, the blue accents, the line work on it is cool. This would be a cool Bakugan to customize. Maybe with some gold. You we're, know, we're not. like my custom Nilius that I did. You can check it out on Twitter. A uh, quick look at it here, but anyway. Um, side note, uh, let's see what he does. I'm sure there's some kind of flip here. No, not at all. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he, he... Yeah, t come to find out, he's kind of lame when it comes to opening because this whole mechanism down here, his, his center of gravity is so much in the middle of him. Like, he's very heavy here that it's kind of hard for him to do anything like that. Wait, I didn't even do anything with this tail. Did it do it itself? It might have. Oh... Okay, cool. Anyway, um, sidetracked. Here we go. He has a 650B uh, magical shield, which is nice, and a 250B shield, which is the second best, so uh, pretty nice cores. Um, but he's a 305, uh, and it's chaos, so you know you have some uh, special tools to use, but he does have an evolution that's really interesting. Uh, let's see here. Hyper Pegatrix Ultra, two cost. If this has two or more Baku cores attached to it, plus 500B. 507. Right. There's, so there's also Diamond Pegatrix Ultra. Oh, two Evos, I forgot. Five cost, if this has two or more Baku cores attached to it, plus a thousand B power. Cool. One thousand ten. 
Yeah. So uh, <laughs> it's not a bad Bakugan at all. Um, it's just going to take some testing to figure out his best partners. Uh, it does have a magical shield, so if you're wanting to play a two-faction Nilius deck, you could put him in there if you wanted to, really. Um, I don't know why you would do that, but um, there's an option. Uh, it's the only thing I think of with magical shield stuff right now. Uh, but moving on to the last one, another Turtle Boy. We've all seen Tetronium on this channel before. Uh, we have the darkest one that we've opened previously, if you want to check it out. Uh, but he's really... He's really just the best, um, and I love how his head can just stick out like that. <laughs> and he's very, he's very derpy. <laughs> he's a, he's a happy turtle. But um, click him in like that, and his legs come in. And does he flip? I forgot. Yeah, oh. he flips. Yeah, he does something. Okay. Okay. All right, there you go. There you go. And he Close opens. Enough. Anyway, uh, comes with the Dark Waters, which is a pretty decent card. It's a one cost, uh, two hundred B, and you can reroll. So that's the cheapest Aquas reroll, I think, right? Or is Deep Dive one? They're two? both one cost. They're both one. One so, gives one gives B power, and the other draws a card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, I didn't even notice on this card art. There's a Crocellios down in the uh, depths of the water trying to kill this Gorthion, uh, which is kind of dark. I never realized that. There's um, a lot of dark, dark Bakugan. Yeah, right? like. Uh, Darkest Petrify or whatever, Killing Cubbo. Is that what it is? Oh, no. There's a... Crap. <laughs> no, what card is that? It's a flip card, but Cubbo's getting eaten alive. I'll put it up on the screen. Um, anyway, uh, so Aquas Tritonium Ultra. It's a green fist with a helix. Uh, kind of interesting, though, because uh, it's 500, B, and 2 attack. And then if you land on the helix that he comes with, he gets 100, B, and 3 attack. So just an overall boost. So if you're playing this with... Um, well, that's kind of cool because if you play it with the 600 Helix, that subtracts... You're still hitting for one, yeah. I think. Let me see the card. Well, it's plus three if you land on the Helix. So if you play with this a six, plus damage. 600 minus three, two. Oh, yeah. So you're still hitting for two. So yeah. that's kind of interesting. So you'd be at 1100, or 1,200, actually, uh, if you hit the Helix, the, the big Helix you with Nobilius, this. You beat Nobilius. You beat Dragon. No, you don't, you don't beat Nobilius with that. Nobilius hits 1350. Oh, just kidding. Yeah, no, it's busted. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, let's talk about his Evo. Uh, Hyper Tritonium Ultra, two cost, on Helix, plus 200B and plus 4 damage rating. Mm -hmm. You may reroll this once each turn if you miss a roll with it. 804. Yeah, so he gets a big B power boost. Then you can beat Nobilius. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, actually a cool, interesting Bakugan that seems kind of useful. Um, that's just kind of judging off face value. We haven't done any testing with it yet, but uh, it seems fun. Uh, and it has an internal reroll, so he's a pretty interesting bot gun to use. So uh, that's it for this Wave 4 opening, going back in time again. Uh, I, do, I literally just bought these like 15 minutes ago, and uh, I kind of got a notification on my little local chat that they had these things, and I went over there immediately. So, um, thank you guys for watching. I'm really excited to have the spider. He's really fun. Uh, people are yelling at me about banging my stuff on the table again, but Orlis Ancient hey, did it. Hey, there was a Bakugan video that I watched today that they literally they have a slow-mo shot of them just dropping a diamond mantanoid. No. <laughs> yeah, uh, Orlis Ancient dropped his webm on the table to open it, so I feel like I have the right to do whatever I want. So, shut up. All right. So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you like this mat that this video took place on, you can check out Matrix Mat. The link is down in the description because I keep getting comments about, hey, do you have a website? It's down in the description of every video. So, y'all go check that out. Uh, and um, we can make you a custom mat, whatever you want to do. Follow me on Twitter. Inked, oh, yeah, I'm supposed to plug Inked Gaming. So, <laughs> if you order one of our mats, you can go to Inked Gaming and use our special code that is RXXC10. And you get 10% off your order off anything. It doesn't have to be one of our mats. You can buy your own custom sleeves and just help the channel out by using our code. So thank you guys for watching, and we will see you later. Bye.